What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys the next defensive video in Clash of Clans. Three quick tips, mainly for Town Hall 11s and Town Hall 12s, on defending. Um, these can be applied to pretty much any base, so as you're designing your base, these are three things you want to keep in mind. Um, I've been building a lot of bases recently at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, so I wanted to get this out there because um, it's something I kind of have learned through experience myself. Uh, but not going to waste any time. We're going to get right into it. It's going to be kind of a short video today. Um, first thing is, in case you kind of missed it in the update notes, pretty recently uh, the Eagle Artillery was changed a little bit. Um, previously, it was harder for troops to reach it. Um, it had, even though it takes up four tiles, it um, troops could not reach it like they could other buildings. So, for example, typically... Uh, there would be like a four tile gap between the wall and the eagle and that's what you would need uh, four tiles between the building and the wall so the archer queen can't reach it well previously before this update all you needed was three um, that was kind of a nice little hack you could have for bowlers all you would need was one typically you would need two tile buffer between the defense and the wall um, but but uh, post or pre update rather uh, all you would need would be one tile it was changed so now the eagle is just like any other building in that if you want to prevent a bowler, a wizard, an archer um, from reaching it, it's going to have to be a two tile buffer uh, between the eagle and the wall. And if you don't want the archer queen to be able to reach it, you're going to need a four tile buffer between the eagle and the wall. So that was a, um, a important change for uh, base builders because now as you're setting things up if you want to make it so a big bowler kill squad can't reach your eagle from the core of the base or something you now need an extra tile there um, same thing with the archer queen uh, from a different compartment for like queen charges and stuff like that so that's pretty significant got to keep that in mind for base building um, next thing is the tornado trap because i think a lot of people not a lot of people know how to use it and it is, there are different ways to use it, but I'm going to go over kind of what, how I like using it. Oftentimes, you're going to have places in your base where you have inferno towers, high concentrations of defenses, um, kind of like in this mini base right here. You want to put the um, tornado trap somewhere where it's going to hold troops for your inferno towers, your expos, your big damage dealers, the eagle artillery. It's going to kind of hold them in a place that's far enough away so that the troops themselves can't reach the um, the buildings. So for example, if there's balloons stuck here, when they're in the tornado, they can't actually target those inferno towers, obviously. If you put the uh, tornado right on top of the inferno, troops get dragged around, but they can still kind of get some uh, DPS going. and in the tornado trap they can still get value so you want to put the tornado trap somewhere kind of in a more remote location a place by a defense you know troops are going to have to go but a place where it's a good place to hold them up because there's not a lot of value there there's only like one or two defenses there's some empty space so it's going to kind of hold them in this area where there's not much for them to target whether it's dragons balloons um even hog riders it's going to hold them there and allow these defenses to rain in on them. So near your valuable defenses, your big damage dealers, but not actually on top of them. Because um, that way, they'll still be able to deal damage while in the tornado trap. Um, there are other ways to use it, but that's kind of my preference. Last one is something a little uh, maybe less obvious. People have been getting good value using e-dragons on their funnels. This is for funneling dragons into a base, for funneling a kill squad into a base, for funneling a queen charge into the base. It is a bit of a troop space investment, but people have been getting insane value. If you want to stop the e-drag funnels, you got to have two tile gaps at certain locations in your base. Um, so if we look at this kind of being you know, a, a compartment, this is the inside of the base right here, um, the outside is at the top. You want these trash buildings, as we call them, to have at least a two tile buffer and the wall you know counts as one tile um, between them and then the next layer in uh, 
the way it works like that is you don't care how spaced these buildings are for the most part. The E-Dragon can take out like, you know, a bunch of trash. You just don't want it penetrating into that next layer of the base because that's when like the real value is gotten. Those are where most of the defenses are going to be. Um, now, it is possible that you have defenses on the outside in two layers of trash like on this side. In that case, you want to try to again maintain that buffer. Um, so that way <clears throat> the E-Dragon might be attacking this building. But all it's doing is, well, in that case, it's only targeting that one building. But even if it targets the storage, it'll bounce down here a little bit, but it's not actually going into the base because there's this two-tile buffer right here. So that's another thing you want to do is have those two-tile gaps to kind of break up the E-drag uh, electricity bounces and make it hard for them to create funnels. Um, it'll really help you out. And then you can look to do that inside your base too for mass e-drag attacks if you're defending against that as well. Um, but that's the best way to break up the, the value that e-dragon gets with that um, chain damage as you can call it. So anyway, that's it guys. Quick video today. Hope you found these tips helpful. Good luck building your bases. And if you want to get your own custom war bases, I never miss a chance to give a shout out to my Patreon uh, where people can request their own war bases and get other perks like base feedback and attacking advice on our Discord server. So link is always in the des description for that. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.